conversing with them. All right, so smart dust is a reality, and it's possible that they are already distributing smart dust by way of chemtrails. And real quick, chemtrails are admittedly true, and many people don't believe they exist still, but they most certainly do, and I can prove it in 20 seconds with simple observations. One, sometimes chemtrail planes fly parallel to normal planes, and the normal plane clearly shows regular condensation trails. And two, sometimes they turn off the chemtrails and turn them back on in midair. So this leads me to my next point. Let's have a look at Morgellons disease. Good evening. Tonight we're going to focus on a controversial and mysterious condition known as Morgellons. There are thousands who say they suffer from its bizarre symptoms, but there are many in the worlds of science and medicine who believe that it's all in the mind. Well, now the government has weighed in, acknowledging that people are suffering and accepting the need for proper scientific investigation. So the Centers for Disease Control today announced that it would begin a new in-depth study to try and explain this strange condition. My co-anchor Cynthia McFadden reports. Mary began pouring through the medical literature, looking for clues. What she discovered was a 17th century reference to a strange disease with so-called harsh hairs called Morgellons. She named the strange fibers Morgellons disease and put the information on a website. Since then, more than 4,500 people have contacted Mary, claiming they too have Morgellons-type symptoms. If you do a literature search in the medical literature, there is no Morgellons disease. The skin symptoms fit perfectly with the same group of individual symptoms that we saw in patients with delusions of parasitosis. Delusions of parasitosis. In other words, it's all in their heads. And despite today's announcement, many doctors remain skeptical that this is a real medical condition at all. They've pre-decided that, that these symptoms are too impossible to be real, so they've come to this conclusion that it's a delusion. Randy Wymore is not a medical doctor, but he is a scientist at Oklahoma State University. He started out as a skeptic, too, but years ago, after taking a closer look at the fibers, he changed his mind. And he says other doctors might also, if only they would look. And the few that have seen patients often have never actually gotten down with either a handheld microscope or a dermatoscope and looked at the patient's skin to see these fibers. On the day we filmed this, Wymore's colleague, Dr. Rhonda Casey, examined that chronic sore on Drew's lip, which, after five years, still had not healed. Plain as day, definitely a fiber. There are fibers there, and I have never seen fibers in any other child's rash similar to this. What are the symptoms, and what, from your view, from your studies, what exactly is Morgellons disease? Um, my uh, view of Morgellons is basically the result of industrialization. Be the list of symptoms is extremely long. It's almost similar to like a fungal, inf a fungal overload pathogenic overload and there's so many related uh, symptoms uh, the key some of the more prominent ones being the body actually growing these fibrils or hairs uh, the body producing artifacts of some kind uh, that whether they're uh, some people I've even met a couple of people that are producing plant-like material growing out of their skin um, there's actually these uh, non-earthling type of insects being uh, come out of their body. I mean, unbelievable stories that I would never have believed it unless I was standing in their in, in their house witnessing this. Uh, hexagons. I mean, on our website, uh, Margellans Research Group. dot com, there's probably a thousand pictures that you you can see. Uh, they're, they're they're just they're real. It's unbelievable. It's like the science fiction channel. Um, come to life. Absolutely, I agree with you, you know, as well. 
Can you guys see how all this might tie together? They could very well be distributing smart dust and many other things into our system using chemtrails, sunblock, lotion, other hygiene products, medicine, and even food and drink. Is this part of an ongoing plan to turn human beings into walking receivers that are dumbed down by toxins and filled with heavy metals? Robot zombie citizens that can easily be tracked and identified as they travel through the smart cities? Are we in the process of a full-on Grey Goo takeover? Well, I think so. That's why I made this video. This has been ODD. Thanks for watching. And our kids are the ones that'll have to pay We'll keep on going right down the drain till we're hollow drones We walk around like some zombies and can't get off our phones It's got me feeling like I'm the only one all alone And wishing there was a new place that I can call my home